Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is AI, the behavior tree simple parallel node. I've gone ahead and created a simple example for the simple parallel node. And let's go ahead and cover how this works. So this is our simple parallel node. You can access it from composites, simple parallel, and you're going to find it basically has one input and two outputs. Now you can go ahead and you can add in your normal things like a decorator and a service. But the intention of the simple parallel node is basically to allow a single main task to be executed alongside with a full tree underneath it. Now, Behavior trees are intended to be event driven. So the simple parallel node isn't something you're going to use most of the time. You'll use the selector or the sequence node. But the simple parallel node could have some uses. Maybe if you want to have something playing or doing or a simple task running while you're also checking maybe for another target. Or maybe you want something to run no matter what. And then you have something else running while it can. So let's just go ahead and cover how this works. We have our simple parallel node. And if you notice, unlike our other composite nodes, it has two outputs. The left one is purple colored because it is a task output. It will only run a task. So in this case, I have the wait node hooked up with a two second wait time. Now on the right side, we have our normal output. We can hook up other composites and we can hook up tasks directly. So for this example, what I've done is I've told it, let's run the task for two seconds. We're going to wait. Now at the same time, we're going to run this set of nodes, which is a selector, which is going to check and see if our player is alive. And if it is, set our player's location to one of the Blackboard variables and then move to that player's location. Now let's watch these run in the behavior tree itself. And then we'll watch it in the map and I'll show you how they're working. So if I go ahead and run this and go back to here, you're going to see it running like this. You can see both nodes running at the same time, and you're going to see no real difference from our normal selector sequence nodes. And that's because what I've done is the composite node simple parallel is the only one that actually has some parameters. And the parameter it has is the finish mode. By default, it's set to immediate. Now you notice when we ran it before, it didn't look like there was anything odd happening. Now if we run it this time, what you're going to see after two seconds is the entire thing is going to abort and it's going to start over again. So let's go ahead and check that out. So you're going to see every two seconds, this sequence over here flashing because every two seconds, the entire thing is starting over. We run our task right here. We wait two seconds. When this finishes, it goes ahead and immediately finishes everything else on the right hand side, says this is completed successfully, and then of course it's going to go back up our tree to either another node above it or a root in this case. So if we actually see this in motion, watch what happens to our character. Rather than our character moving, using the simple move to, to our player's location, it's going to start hitching. So if you watch, it's going to move, stop, move stop, move, and then it gets to our location. What's happening is our behavior tree is running and after two seconds, it's aborting our move to location. Our root is refiring, doing the wait for two seconds, and then in parallel, telling it to move again. So basically we're forcing this over here to restart based on this completing successfully. And of course, if we don't want that. You can change this to delayed and if we run this and watch it, you're actually going to see it work what it looks like normal. It's going to move smoothly to our move location. If we go back over here, and it's going to continue working like we expect it to. What's happening in that case is our wait node is firing, but when it finishes after two seconds, it's telling it to go ahead and wait. Let's wait for your actual tree over here to finish before we consider this successful. So that is what our simple parallel node is for. It's like I said, it, it's not usually used very often. It has some uses if you want to run things in parallel, but keep in mind, you're only going to run a task in parallel with another set of composite nodes 
or another task. For the most part, since behavior trees are event-driven, using the selectors and sequences to determine what you want to do and then do it, and then using things like decorators and services to adjust those things in real time gives you a much more modular feel rather than just simply running something in parallel until it does or does not work. So that's it. That is what our simple parallel composite node is. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.